Good day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Greatest Common Factor, or GCF. Today, we're going to be using two strategies to determine the greatest common factor. In this case, let's start out with the listing strategy. We're going to list the factor pairs of each number. 1 times 27 is 27. 2 won't go into 27, but 3 will. We know that 3 times 9 is 27. Let's do the same thing for 18. 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. And then, of course, 3 times 6 is also 18. Now we've listed the factor pairs for both numbers, and to find the greatest common factor, we simply have to look at the number that is the greatest value on both lists, and we know that number is 9. Thus, the GCF, or the greatest common factor, of 27 and 18 is 9. But did you know that you can actually determine this by using factor trees? Observe. We are going to use factor trees to find the prime factorization of each of these numbers. First step. We know that 3 times 9 is 27. Let's carry down that 3 because it's prime. Let's break this 9 apart because it's composite. 3 times 3 equals 9, and we're done because all our numbers on the bottom are prime, and 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Now let's do the same thing with 18. We know that 2 times 9 is 18. 2 is prime, so let's carry that down, and 9 is composite, so let's break it apart into 3 times 3. And we know we're done because all our bottom numbers are prime, and 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18, so we're done. Now, let's go over to this Venn diagram. Let's have this left circle represent 27, and let's have this right circle represent 18. And then, of course, the middle represents the numbers they have in common. Having said that, let's go ahead and organize the prime factors. Right here we have a 3 on this side and a 3 on this side. So we can go ahead and throw that in the middle because 27 and 18 have those 3's in common. We have a 3 on this side and a 3 over here, so we can represent that in the overlap section. Now the last numbers is we have a 3 here, but we don't have a 3 there. So we're going to go ahead and leave this 3 here and this 2 over there. Now, the only thing we care about is the numbers in the middle. In this case, 3 and 3. And to find the GCF, all we do is multiply those two numbers together. And 3 times 3, of course, is 9. And we remember from before that the greatest common factor is 9. We just used two different methods. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. Best of luck.